Hey guys, and welcome to Easy Go. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how liquid soap reacts with liquids yeah. like milk, milk. Wa water, <laughs> and the other liquids in here. It's not a distraction, my little sister. And to show you guys how that happens, I'll be showing you an experiment called Color Changing Milk. And here are the ingredients you'll need for that experiment. The color red, blue, and food color in yellow. And do not forget, mystery liquid soap. The subject of this experiment is right here. And we're also going to be some, needing some milk in this Petri dish. Petri dish. And some and an earbud with a tray. Now let's get started. I'm ready for this experiment with my safety goggles. In my safety gloves and so is my little sister with their safety goggles with her safety goggles look at the camera my little sister dad look what are you wanting to do now look at the camera camera good job now i'll be dropping four to Three drops of red. Red. Okay. Yay. Yay. I'll be pouring in the blue color next. I'll be pouring into the yellow dye next. Don't you I'll be pouring a little bit of this liquid soap into this ear. Bag. Now I'll put this in the center of this petri dish. So why guys, why does the soap not want to stay in the center of the Petri dish? It spreads around. Well, soap has two parts, the head and the tail. The head is hydrophilic, which is water loving and is attracted to water, in this case, milk. But the tail, the most important in this experiment, is called hydrophobic and is water fearing and does and is feared of milk as well and so it like pushes the milk away from the center of the petri dish and takes everything in its path along with it and well that's the reason why you should wash your hands after you go outside touch dirty things so you can, your hands will stay clean and you will be healthy. Thanks for watching. This is Mia Dilshan signing off.